Hi everyone, this is Shishi coming on to share with you an AliExpress haul. This haul comes from Craft Love Store and all the designs that I'm sharing today are designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube. So um, first up I want to share this um, scrapbook. It's a mini scrapbook album and the reason why I'm showing this is to showcase how this die is used on the scrapbook. It's designed for like mini albums and it looks like this right here really pretty and it's very universal um, I did use it in a different way on another card that I'm going to share in a moment so um, I just put it on the side of this album I'm not quite finished with it I'm just sharing with you how it looks on the cover but um, this is how you use it That's just my assumption <laughs> that's how I'm using it right now but this is how I designed it um, and how it looks so just to give you an idea of what it's intended for and how it looks on the back so um, I used another die set from the shop um, and it's a nesting set you get an eyelid and then a double stitch inside outside heart an eyelid double stitch inside outside heart and then another eyelid double stitch inside outside heart this is great for like frames or um, shaker cards or just whatever you want to do you can decorate like your treat boxes if you want to make a frame and then put some acetate um, you know on the uh, inside of the of the box and display your chocolates uh, I'll give you an example of what I mean I'm going to show you something like in this case if you wanted to put like a little window in your box or something like that you can do that so um, just some ideas there on how you would use a set like this so I used it in this way um, to decorate you know just a pretty eyelet on the front of my mini album so just you know pretty decorative heart I really love it so um, next I used the heart set just to layer on this pretty card and then I also used this right here again as like on a card you know just as the background so really love that and I just stamp fabulous on there and as you can see you can layer it in different colors make frames and then as you can see the detailed stitching on there inside and outside it's a really unique set really love it and love the design of it um, then there's also these um, dies in the shop for your scrapbooks here I cut out an example I didn't get a chance to show it but then there's like some holes for your hardware that you can um, punch with like a crop -a -dial or something like that for your hardware stuff so there's a big one and a small one and I believe these come in a set so you have a choice to use it in whatever you know sizes you want then there's also the happy mail die you get a shadow and the uh, happy mail and a pretty font so I cut that out so you can see how it looks all right so I'm going to move on to more um, pretty dies designed by Nicole and she has these nice little swim suits and bikinis share with you the die set um, because it comes with two um, <coughs> excuse me two different style uh, dies for the swimsuits so I'll share with you what they look like. You get them in a set of these two size swimsuits. And I'll share with you the card that I made. 
um, just to give you an idea of what they look like on the other style and I just put smile it suits you on that card and again these are the other style you can layer them to make it a different look too I just use them as single layers on there okay so those are the swimsuits then for the bikinis you get a really a lot of dies in the set where you can mix and match and they come with little tiny bows so those are really nice and I'll share with you all the different mixes and matches so um, with this little ruffle or like a scallop you can layer it with this one this one's a little bit smaller right here to layer onto this one and then these little bows you can put on the sides and that's what I did with this one so it looks like that so you have two different looks with that style and those come all in one set the bikini set then if you just want to do a single you can do that and then there's like so many mixes and matches. I still have to play with this one to use up all these bikinis that I cut out. So here is that card right here. These give you an idea of how they look. I really love how this card turned out. So that's a really fun card. Sending a summer hello. Next I want to share with you these Easter baskets I made. They look like this. Um, let's see if I can zoom out more. You can see it. Okay, so here's my Easter basket. And I also have a bow tutorial on how I made this bow. Um, and I also got the same die that I used to make this bow from the shop. Um, and then there's like little grass that you can also put on there. Here's the set. It also includes the bunny. So. Here is the set, and here you can see the grass, and then um, here's a little handle, and the other shape to make it on there, and I also made one that looks like this right here, and then as you can see, there's a different panel, um, so you can make it in different looks and layers, and use pattern paper, you can stamp Happy Easter on here. And as you can see, my bunnies look different. So you have a big nose, you can put teeth in there, or you can make one that looks more like a female bunny. So there's different looks for that. You can make this bunny into a tag, or you can do what I did and just put the, the bunny in the center of a bow. And let's see, where did I put the bunny bow? Or the bunny. Here's the bunny set. It does come with the basket. It's not sold separately. It comes with the basket. Okay. So I'm going to move on to this treat set. It's a unicorn. And this is what it makes. And you can just fill it up with little candies. Look how cute. And I embossed the hair to give it more character. So you just put that in some little treats and make the unicorn so adorable so there's that in the shop there are some memory ducks dies and I'll share with you how the television looks and this is what I did with the television I just put you are my lucky star and I decorated it like that and this is how the die set comes you get two different pieces you can also make this open out um, and just do like a, a, you know, on the edge to make it flip out. I didn't do that in this case, but you, I can still do it and then just pop this die on top. I mean, this die cut on top so it folds out like a, like a card, you know, and just like cut it on the edge. Um, there's some examples on, uh, if you go to the website and they show, show in pictures how you can do that technique. I just didn't think of it at the time. The next one is the suitcase 
and here's my example of the suitcase. I did use realistic looking leather paper for the straps. And this is the set. And they show examples of that too where you can open it out. And I can just glue that on top of mine if I want to make it look that way. Okay, and then there's a stamp set for your swap partners. And it looks like this. And uh, there's swap mail, happy mail, happy mail. There's a to and from in two different fonts. Um, happy um, uh, handmade with love. Happiness is doing a swap with you on here. Special delivery. Look inside. Warning, opening this package can result in extreme happiness. So really love the sentiments on this one. And you can color the swap mail in with any colors you like to give it more... Uh, pretty sparkling, you know, to match your coordinating papers. And then last but not least, I was really sad to not be able to put this together for you guys. Um, it's my fault, not the seller's fault, but I cut out all these pieces and I was following Nicole's tutorial and my bag had ripped open apparently and I lost one of the pieces somewhere in my room and I can't find the base die to finish putting together my um, frame. So there's a rotating frame die on her um, site and I was all ready to um, put this together so I could show you what it looks like. But if you want to see this, it's really nice and it rotates your pictures. <coughs> Um, excuse me. Um, so you can have like your kids picture on one side and your other grandkids picture on another side or however you want to decorate it. Um, it's up to you but it's a 3D frame and it's really nice and like I said there's just one piece that I got to find somewhere. It rolled under something and I got to find it somewhere. I just hate when that happens. I don't know if you ever had that happen to you but I was um you know using this and I have this big hole in the bag I don't know if you can see that and I was I don't know what happened I was trying to take all the pieces out and I didn't realize that it fell out somewhere so I was really trying to have everything um, all cut out and designed for you guys so maybe I'll do a project share video so you can see how this one turned out but I had everything cut out and then I realized I was missing one piece so anyway, that's my um, video for today. I hope it's not too long because I rambled too much at the end. But I'll link everything in the description box below. Um, definitely check out this frame um, that I was talking about. It's really cool. And you'll love that one. And there is a tutorial on how to use this one. So I'll link it in the description box below so you can see how it turned out and everything. So um, take care and I hope you have a fabulous day.